In this constantly changing world, life and personal values can seem more than a little unstable. Just when you think you have it all figured out, then everything changes. Sometimes life can seem overwhelming. Well, the good news is you can change your life. You have within you the power to learn how to flow with the changes and smooth out the bumps of life. You can experience the joy, peace, health, and abundance you deserve. You were created to be happy and productive. That urge to grow and express yourself was put there for a reason. Learn the spiritual principles that can help you not just to survive, but thrive in this changing world. At Unity, we'd like to help you do just that. Imagine a spiritual path that honors the universal truths in all religions, that sees we are all one. Imagine a movement that respects each person's right to choose their spiritual path. Imagine a spiritual movement that empowers and unites rather than divides. This is Unity. For more than a century, Unity has offered a positive, practical, and progressive approach to understanding and applying the teachings of Jesus and other spiritual masters. Each and every person has inborn, God-given powers. We can change our lives by learning to use these powers consciously and intentionally. The way we use or misuse these powers shapes our reality. Connect with your higher self. Connect with the Divine.
Good morning, good morning, good morning, good, good day. <laughs> Hello, how are you? This is Reverend R. Ken, and I want to welcome you, <coughs> welcome you to the unity of Chicago South Beyond Walls community. And on behalf of the ministerial staff, and the spiritual contributors to Unity of Chicago South, we all thank you for joining us. And, of course, Happy Easter, Happy Resurrection Sunday to you all. I have a couple of housekeeping items I want to share with you very quickly before we get into today's talk. Uh, May 1st, we have a new program scheduled to come online mid-May, and we're going to start announcing it. To give you a hint, it has to do with mindfulness. Now, there will be uh, notifications through our social media channels. Uh, some of them have changed, the handles have changed, so pay attention. Twitter is now at Unity OC South. Instagram and LinkedIn also are at Unity OC South. TikTok is Unity of Chicago South. You didn't know we had TikTok, I know. And then of course Facebook is continues to be Spirit Ising. Uh, we have one more thing I want to definitely share with you because it's so very, very important. Uh, many times we're going through changes and we're going through adjustments in our lives and we could use a little help and there's no one there to walk us through, to help us through, but, but spirit and how we are able to connect to spirit can make all the difference in the world. So I want to let you know that we now have some very uh, seasoned unity tracks focus, focused on healing and focused on preparing yourself if you have an experience, a procedure coming up and how to best get in contact with spirit to do that on your own. Now, of course, you can go to our website, unityocs.org. The downloads are free. We don't ask for your email. This is a way that we will, are able to share our belief, our philosophy, and our desire to help people do better so they can be better. So those tracks are available on unityocs.org. Uh, you go to the front page, you can listen to them, and if you want to download them, there's a button to click on so you can download again. There's nothing asked of you. Nothing asked of you. So with that understanding, I want to tell you on this day, this holy day, that there is an infinite source available to everyone. It's there for each who seek it, no matter their race, their gender, and on this particular day, not even their religion. You can believe anything that you want to believe, but you should know that the source of the universe is also the source of each one of us. Therefore, the principle supporting the stars is the principle supporting and available to each of us. And as I declare this statement in the first person, I, I want you to embrace it and understand that I am declaring it for all. I am open and receptive to this divine living principle. Father, Mother, God, I am grateful. This is my declaration. This is my truth. And as I accept it, so it becomes. And all is well and well indeed. Today's poem. May your Easter be happy. <laughs> may your day be bright. May, your, may you enjoy the treats and sweet delights. But remember the meaning. Remember God's gift. Remember the resurrection. May your soul uplift. That's Bill Hohenbell is our author of that poem. There is a joy <clears throat> about today. It's supported by the culmination of a special and spiritual holy period. 
Now, human beings, we, we, we love celebration. And this day is a time of a multi-event celebration. Monday, Thursday ended. Huh. And that ended the 40-day Lent period. And then Friday, past Friday, represented the crossing out of a consciousness negativity impacted impacting our lives so Friday was that crucifixion and today there's a rolling away of the stone of the past and a resurgence into a new consciousness now if you'd like a deeper meaning of the past 40 day period plus Earlier in the Lent period, we focused on uh, an entire talk on their relationships and how they came to be connected. And you can find it on our YouTube channel and look for the May 20th talk. But, but today, we appreciate the newness of spring. And, and, and we, 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 we know that some people, they share this newness. <laughs> with fresh new clothes. Today we honor the spiritual gift that the presence of the master teacher provided. Today so many will eat well and, and may even remember wonderful past gatherings and include m memorials for those no longer with us. But today is also a very important time in the, in the spiritual journey of transformation. The transformation that so many people took some 40 plus days ago. This day, Easter Sunday, Resurrection Sunday, is also the beginning of the final 40 day period of that spiritual journey of transformation. See, for some, this is the period of solidifying the consciousness changing undertaken that began with Ash Wednesday. I'm speaking about the symbolism of the ascension, which occurs 40 days after the resurrection. This year, that would be May 27th. If there was not more to be done to establish the crucifying of the old consciousness, the old way of thinking, the old way of feeling, the old way of reacting to the external, and to establish uh, a new consciousness symbol, symbolized in the resurrection, then the ascension could, could have taken place rather quickly. But instead we have another 40 day period until it occurs. Today is a, is a metaphysical, a deeper focus about that period, about those 40 days following the resurrection. Now in scripture there were many, many occurrences of the master teacher's journey during those 40 days, those final 40 days. Today is not about pouring cold water on the joy of the season, but, but about what we can glean regarding the ability of experiencing a more permanent and positive change in our lives. See, a true ascension or change into a more spiritually focused consciousness can be stated with truly living from the adage, as within, so without. While time doesn't allow me today to go into a deeper interpretation of that whole period of time of all the things written about what happened during that event as they pertain to us in our desire for a changed or raised consciousness. The, the, the 20th century mystic Joel Goldsmith explains the role of consciousness in our lives with this paraphrase of his famous statement. Consciousness is what we are. 
Now, no matter what our stated goal was on Ash Wednesday, truth is that for the goal to be met and held requires a change in what we were or a change in consciousness. Now, one recurring theme during this journey you may have noticed, you may have said, whoa, I, I keep hearing this number. And that's the period of 40 days. And, and why is that so significant? For the metaphysician, this 40-day period, any 40-day period, is explained as a period or, or stages of spiritual growth and spiritual growth in consciousness, a period of indecision or confusion which has come to an end, which has concluded. A period of human ascension or progression, progressive unfoldment of our spiritual self. That's the 40-day period. Progressive unfoldment of our spiritual self. We've gone through all the challenges and we've finally come to the end and that's the 40 day period. Now let's look at, at some of the symbolism found in scripture as Jesus traveled his own path of ascension. I need you to hear this now. Jesus traveled his own path of ascension. A path that provides a formula, a formula to those seeking their own living ascension. There was a stone, a rock, blocking the tomb entrance and it was rolled away. See, the past negativity that used to influence or affect our thoughts, our feelings, and impact our consciousness in ways we no longer desire is not blocking our interests into the life we desire. We have resurrected, you see. The stone is gone. The cave, the tomb is open. <laughs> And we are no longer trapped in the negativity. We are free to go forth into the life that we want. We are free to ascend. And the first person the scripture says from various, from various Bibles says that Jesus encountered in different ways being the gardener in some cases was Mary. What's Mary? What does that mean? What does Mary mean? What is the deeper meaning of Mary? What is the metaphysical meaning of Mary? It represents an emotional phase. It represents our feeling nature, that subconscious aspect of our soul. That subconscious aspect through which our thoughts express into our life experience. It's about the feeling. Wow. One of the adages in New Thought is, feeling gets the blessing. Feeling gets the blessing. Feeling gets the blessing. So the first encounter after the resurrection was an encounter of the feelings. This is a reminder to us that we too must first address that resurrected feeling phase of our soul for our resurrected thoughts to express into our lives. What? It's not all about the thinking. We must come up and address the feelings so that the new thoughts can express in our life. See, more than thinking that we are free from past negativity. We must feel the freedom. It is the feeling that allows us to ascend to a knowing and accepting that we are now living from the consciousness that we desire. Now to maintain the resurrected consciousness, we continue on our path of ascension. 
an ascension that minimizes the power of the external over the decisions that direct our lives. Let me say this one more time. As we are going through this process, this process of 40 days, remember what it means, confusion, do, 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 all those things, but there will be an end. It's indeterminable, as they say, but it will end, it will come to a conclusion that one of the things that we have to understand is that we are working to minimize the external issues and circumstances over the decisions that direct our lives. We are on an ascension path. And on this ascension path, we are developing thought patterns that are influenced by our resurrected internal consciousness as opposed to the external circumstances. Now, as these thoughts that we are allowing to come together, um, stimulated and motivated and push forth from this new consciousness, they express into our resurrected lives the life that we have worked to create. Understand, we have worked to resurrect the depths of our spirituality as our life. And now we are challenged to ascend to that level of thinking and that level of feeling and that level of living. And to reach the path of ascension, we, we have followed a formula that we may not even be aware of, a formula of re-strengthening, re-strengthening, re-strengthening the belief that we can change. We have followed uh, the path that allowed us to cross out that which we no longer want in our lives. We, we have come to a point that we have resurrected the divine consciousness within us. It is now alive and moving forward. We have done the work. This is not a formula exclusively for the holy season. This is a formula for any time we desire to lift our consciousness. Isn't that wonderful, the good news? We don't have to wait to a period. We don't have to wait for 40 days. We don't have to wait for Easter. We don't have to wait for the crucifixion. We don't have to wait for anything to happen outside to decide within us that we wish to change our consciousness. We wish, we wish to bring forth, resurrect, that which is pure and whole that is connected to the divine source of us. Why is that important? We have to remember what our mystic said earlier. Consciousness is what we are, so it's the resurrection of our own divinity, of our own Christ connection that changes consciousness and that becomes the life we live and that is who we are. And it doesn't matter what's going on in our lives right now, oh boy, here it comes. It was too good, right? Because the life we are experiencing right now is really our current state of consciousness in expression. Hmm. We've been given the formula to change. If we want to change, we've been working on it. Some of us have been working since Ash Wednesday. We were going to stop at resurrection. We were going to go to church. We were going to say hallelujah. Nothing wrong with that. But remember, there's still work to be done. And those that believe in scripture, the 40 days are in scripture. 40 more days of work because we're going for the ascension not just the resurrection now, now, now some today finery I want you to strut tall and be proud of your new clothes and, and then there are those that will break bread with family or, or, and, and or with friends enjoy it to the utmost. Those that are on the path of ascending consciousness, I want you to stay strong in your quest and know that as you truly feel it, so it becomes. 
you have done the work to raise into a consciousness of resurrection. Now continue into the ascended consciousness you deserve. The steps are right there before you. Feel the change. Direct your thoughts to the internal consciousness that you have awakened, you have resurrected. Command that consciousness to hold the thoughts and feelings focused on your ascension into your desired life. Demand, this is who I am, this is what I feel. And I'm experience. Wow. Happy Resurrection Day. Happy Easter Sunday. And remember, there's more to do to complete the ascension. But you have done so much. Be joyous. Enjoy this day. Celebrate. <laughs> but don't let the work in front of you escape. Don't let it get away from you. It's not 40 days as, as, as it was stated before. It's a period, it's a stage, and you don't know what stage you might be in, but keep working. You might be so close to the ascension that you don't even realize it. You may be a little further away than someone else, but it's still available to you. Complete the work, continue, continue, continue. But most of all, enjoy this day. And let this day enjoy your presence on this earth. Again, I thank you for your consciousness today. And until next time, this is Reverend R. Kim from Unity of Chicago South and the ministerial staff and the contributors all saying to you, in divine wisdom, namaste.